It takes a special kind of man to lead your people out of bondage and oppression. The robots have found such a man. A fearless leader. And surprisingly handy with a socket wrench. That man is Bob the Barrelbot. <laughs> So, we're going to be creating a, a, an, an independent nation of barrel bots. Oh, yeah. Where are we going to do this? We're going to do it over here in this corner. We're going to have the, the, the district center pretty much there. We want it roughly about 40 tiles in and 40 tiles in this way. So, which I've, I've measured and it's kind of roughly down here. Uh, we're going to just throw this in for now there. Cool. We we want to hook it up, don't we? Yeah, I'll we'll do a bit of hooking up. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is like figure out what the, the actual range of this is and then see like can I get a staircase built down here to get this built or do I have to do something else? It's going to be it's going to be a bit fiddly. What is the um what, like why am I doing this? Well, this is actually part of a this is like step 1 of a 437 step plan. For what I'm going to do with this map. Um, we are going to have the, the barrel bots over here and they are going to be doing smelting and industry uh, and, and making stuff like that. That's going to be their job. Over, over in this corner, I just had this idea. I've, I've looked at this and it'd be like, wouldn't it be cool if the, like with these terraces, it was just terraces of trees, all different kinds of trees. And then we had a community here called the, the Tree Huggers. And they look after all the trees and they produce maple syrup and pine resin and chestnuts and all the stuff to do with trees. And we have, we've got to do all the irrigation and all the rest of it. I think over here in the, in the Barrel Bot Nation, we're going to be producing, for example, uh, Catalyst. Oh yeah, which they will, they will export to the other Barrel Bots who are like working in other places, but who have been given their full rights. God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in order, to, uh, in order to get a barrel bot nation over here, they're going to need this mine, which means that the, the barrel bot building that's being done over here needs a new source of metal. Well, there just happens to be one down here. So... Uh, we need access to it, so let's uh, let's do that, shall we? So I want to be as direct as possible. So let's do let's do this. That's um, yeah, that's too high. So we we'll put one of those in. A couple of staircases, flip, flip, boom, boom. Then we'll go up there. Now, people are always like, use a bridge, use a bridge. Like here, you can't use a bridge, right? I can't just put a bridge. What is this? Three wide. I can't just put a bridge here. I'm going to take out the path so I can show you. Um, you can't just put a bridge there, right? Because it then blocks this path, right? If you put that there, you can't get onto the bridge from the sides, right? So it's not as simple as just, I'm throwing a bridge. No, this is why most of the time when I'm going across things, I put in platforms. Um, what do I want? I want threes, don't I? I think. No, I want twos twos boom and then we'll put uh, a path across there then on the other side we'll step it down so boom boom you know what i'm going to speed things up we've got so much to get done i i will tell you more about the plan as we go through the episode um but there's there's so much i i started I started thinking about a couple of things that I wanted to do in this episode. One of which is, oh, by the way, I'll tell you this. Uh, this, um, yeah, I figured out how to stack the windmills um, to increase the, the power density by like an additional two thirds. So instead of having 15 windmills in here, we'll have uh 25 right the thing is <clears throat> the box needs to be one wider and it needs to be well yeah one longer 
So this wall needs to move over one and two wider. So one longer, two wider. So it's about 10% bigger, but it gives us like 66% more energy. And then I thought, okay, well, what am I going to have to do? So I'm going to have to dynamite this all the way down and then build another one up and the same over here. And then I've got to move this out and I've got to, I've got to dynamite down the hole and I've got to re I've got to de demolish this and the power, the power tower uh, and move it all for, and I was like, I not today, not, I can't face that today. Uh, one, one bonus of this, it's actually what, one of the things that made me think about doing this is it bugs me that this is my center line for the, the, the temple of the, the temple of supreme awesomeness, right? And th this is in line with this, but it's not in line with that wall there and this staircase. Well, if this wall has to move over by one, then this wall would have to move over by two. This wall would move over by three. Moving this over by two puts it absolutely slap bang on the center line, <laughs> which is um, like, would I rebuild this for that? No, I was thinking about it. I was thinking it would be really nice if that lined up. But then when I started messing around, figuring out how to do this, um, it w just worked out that these needed to be one wider. So that's going to line up. Right, so so I was thinking about that and I was like, yeah, but you know what? If I'm going to have to rip all of this out and rebuild it. Well, I can't do that right now because we need the power that we've got. So I'm going to have to build another two modules over here. So we'll we'll have five. So it'll be, it'll be really nicely balanced and it'll look really good. Um... So I need to do that. Well, if I'm going to do that, then I need to move the the biofuel uh, potato fields and, and the carrots and whatever. So I need to move that down here. And I was like, yeah, but you know what? I'm probably going to have to put it, even building this, I'm probably going to need to put in some temporary power. So this is a, this would be a really good place to put in some, some temporary power. So I was like, well, maybe, maybe I should do the, the Temple of Supreme Awesomeness. But it's like, mm, I really need to do this before I do that. Well, well what else could I do? I, I know, I'll do the water palace. So uh, I, I started to sketch out like exactly what I was going to do. Uh, we're going to have, um, we're going to have a two wide moat coming along here, which hooks up with this. Uh, and this is all going to have to be redeveloped. And then I was figuring out how I could do a housing project, which is built into the side of this. And then I was like, yeah, but I don't want a housing project that's overlooking this. I mean, I really like this, but not there. So that needs to move. And then I was like, okay, well, where would I move that? And that's when I sort of came over here and I was like, oh yeah, so what about if we had a big excavator thing here and, and it was run by the barrel bots and that we could do... Uh, the metal production that will do the smelting over it. Ah, now we can do the smelting over there, right? Which means I can get rid of the smelters off the roof of this, which means, which means that when I start to redevelop this, which and this is going to be a big redevelopment. Because okay, for example, what I'm thinking is we have a, a two wide moat that hooks up to this. Then we've got a wall. But it's not one wide, it's three wide. And down the centre, we have water. And that water, at, um, at certain intervals along here, in fact, what I was thinking was, we'd have, we'd have houses down here, and in between the houses, we would have water cascading down into here. I want to extend this back a little bit, so that, uh, so that it's all going into the reservoir. So it's all nice and deep. We're not... We're not wasting um, water with unnecessary evaporation and stuff um yeah so we've got water cascading down we've got the beavers living there we've got all kinds of luxury stuff going on yeah um so i'm like well, yeah but that means ripping all of this stuff so i i need to get rid of all of these fields and everything so i need to make sure that they're food secure well we're fairly food secure because of the bread production down here but it makes sense to set up the other communities who are going to be producing this stuff because ultimately i don't want these guys up here these are the rulers i don't want them doing that stuff here 
Um, so in the same way that we've got the tree huggers over here doing the tree stuff, somewhere, if I could find an appropriate, I don't know where it's going to be. I don't know, over here, over here somewhere, maybe I'm dead, like down here in the plains. Um, we'll, have, well, we'll have the carrot tops, and they just produce carrots. We'll have the potato heads, who just produce potatoes, and, and maybe they do the grilling as well, probably. Uh, and export, I don't know, when you, maybe they, you see, from a transport perspective, somebody pointed this out in the comments, and it's a valid point. Um, if you're going to transport grilled potatoes, you're better off transport the potato and then grill it because then you get four grilled potatoes, but you've only had to transfer one object rather than four. Makes sense, right? I guess. So that's the, that's the plan. The Beaver Castle, or the Water Palace, as it's going to be, uh, going to be called, uh, is, um, is just going to be fed by all of the other places with all of the things that it needs. And then they're, they're just going to look after the water. And they're just going to roll in it. Opul sheer opulence. Water cascading all over the place. I've been playing around with um, kind of water decorations and stuff. And yeah, it gets interesting. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's get on with this, shall we? How are you doing? Uh, they are, well, they've almost, they've almost done it. Good lads. Right. We need to go a bit further, don't we? Yeah, we do. Right. Good. Is that enough talking for this episode? You should build some stuff now. Yes, yes, Sky, we'd really like that. If you just shut up and build something, for goodness sake. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm on it. Let's see. Um, well, I can hook up with that anywhere, frankly. Uh, do I... Well, maybe bring it down to there and then come that way. Yeah, go on, let's do it that way. So, what do I want? I want a platform and a couple of staircases. God, we're building a lot of staircases. And then bring that down to there. And then we come down to the mine. Awesome. Awesome. Should I throw the mine in? Yes, Sky. Do it now. Don't talk about it. All right. Fine. Fine. Be like that. See if I can. Uh, let's flip you around. Mine goes in there. Now, what do we need for the mine? We need um, logs, gears, treated planks. Yeah, we can get that stuff shipped over here. Assuming that this is in range. Well, we'll find out. Okay. How are we doing up top? Bob the Barrelbot is um, is eager to claim his empire. Let's have a look. How far do we? Oh, oh, we might be. We might be all right. You know, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, Sky, uh, you're probably gonna need. Even though this is for the Barrelbots, you want to be doing like farming and stuff for you know stuff. You're going to need some water here, aren't you? There doesn't look to be that much water here, Sky. You know, just pointing that out at this point, you know, there's not a lot of water here. I am aware of that, which is why we are going to turn this into a huge, well, yeah, huge, a uh, huge reservoir. How big is it, Sky? Huge. And then what we'll do is we'll have some, uh, we'll have some pumps pumping the water up from here and then we'll have irrigation canals in this area in 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 some way shape or, or form yeah but I'm, I'm thinking to bring this down a level maybe even both levels but maybe it's on this side and not on this side. see sky you're talking a lot i realize that but there's a lot to talk about this is massive and the verdict is easy we can make it easy awesome and they are starting to bring logs hooray look at this 350 gears the 200 treated planks won't won't really be an issue while they're getting on with that i think we can do some more uh, some more terrain work and frankly why wouldn't we so i want to carry on building this out um yeah let's just let's just bring it we'll do another we'll do another sizable chunk over there and then, yeah, I'll probably bring it in, start to bring it in a little bit. And then we want to do similar kinds of things over here. So let's uh, rip all of this out. Uh, yeah, yeah, it can just, it can just all go. There's, 
There's no point to it. Uh, no, stop that. Yeah, all of this. Oh, I, I, I do. Lo I love ripping stuff out probably more than I enjoy building, which I don't know, probably says a lot about me um, in a worrying kind of way. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of these. We just get rid of all this stuff. Just get rid of it all. Throw it out in the street. Um, what do I want to do around this side? Uh, we'll take that back a little bit. This, I'm, I'm going to hang on to this just for a little bit, just in case of an emergency that, that I completely unforesee, but I'm pretty sure this is done with now. Okay, well, so we can get back to uh, we can get back to putting this in. So what do I want? Um, I want this to start coming out here like this. And then we go back the other way. So... This is going to be boring watching me fill in all this. So I'm going to do that on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing. Um, but flipped around on the other side. So I guess we'll we'll start just by bringing it out like two. Like all the way across. Because like I said, I want this to appear like a, a natural formation in the terrain. So this is this is this is going to curve around and kind of step up. To that level so i want this to look like a canal that's been carved into existing terrain that's the plan that's the plan we'll see how that works out right the droughts just ended how's the water situation uh, let's see in here we've got let's see let's see we've got uh, one two three four five so we ended the season with five tiles of water in there in here let's see we're at um two and a quarter okay nice that's a, a pretty healthy situation not unhappy with that um especially because i've got these pumps turned off <laughs> and they should be turned on so that's why i was, I was looking at the water outside i was thinking yeah, a little bit low there we go so that's sorted out uh, that'll bring the um, the level up outside again. What uh, what else? Well, yeah, I, mean, I guess we just wait and see like how much water we get, and we should have a healthy amount of water again. So we've got no water worries. I've laid in over here like a lot, <laughs> like quite a lot. Uh, what did I want? Here we go. So we've got uh, two tiles up on this side, starting to fill in this. We've got a whole load to put in over here. And all the way across, and we're filling in this, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, this pass through here, I guess. So yeah, that's all uh, That's all getting done. I've changed my mind about this having a huge reservoir here. This is what happens, I go backwards and forwards on these things, so I'll have this idea and go, oh, I should have a huge reservoir here. And then I'll look at it and go, hang on a second, like, all I want to do is fill some irrigation ditches up here. I don't need a massive reservoir in order to do that. So why don't I just pump the water up into an irrigation system? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. Um, each one is going to be... Do I just do them two? Yeah. So four, six, eight. So I would want to come out at least eight. Uh, I may have to set this back in at the top. You know what? Let's do, let's do six... Yeah, let's come out six. Maybe maybe we actually do a little bit of dynamiting and set the top one back into the cliff. Yeah, 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 that could work. That could work. So this one's going to be up to there, isn't it? Yeah. So we would want... I've done this one too wide, haven't I? Yeah, I've done this one too wide. Let's get rid of that. We don't need more than we need. Get rid of that section and that section. Okay, cool. And yeah, keep going, keep going. What am I trying to do? Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, we're only getting the minimum number of days of water. So we want two of those. So we'd want this like that. Okay, so first pump would go... Uh, where are we? First pump. First pump would go there, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, fine. So next pump, okay, let's just get it done, get it done. 
So we want to go up one, two, three. Yep. And then we'd have trough there. Yeah. Okay. So what do I want? I want a water pump would go there. And then the next one would go here, but dynamited down. And then another one to take us up to the top. So let's see. So we'd go one, two, three. So that would be there. At that level. Then the next one would be one, two, three, which takes us just perfectly up to that top height. Ha, huh, okay. Um, so we would actually be filling one tile below this edge. So that would be the level that we would want, which is this level. So this area here, I'd actually want this to be one tile higher. This area here, I would want to be one tile lower. Right, I can start thinking about doing some clearing, doing some dynamiting. Yeah, see, sorting something as crucial as that out early on is, um, is kind of a big deal. All right. The drought just, uh, just started. So how much water did we end up with? So let's see. So down here, we should have around two on the indicator, a little bit more. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got three tiles of water in here, just over. And then over here, we should be pumping the water up. Yes, we are. Good. Oh, all that dynamite's got laid. Awesome. This is all getting pumped up. Awesome. How much water? Good. L look at this. We almost, we almost made it to the overflow. <laughs> wow. Gee, I can't believe how fast this has built. Look at this. Okay, well, we need to do some dynamiting then. Yeah, let's detonate that. Boom. Awesome. Has that, has that lowered the water? Yeah, has. Which is which is sweet. Um this you know what? What I'm gonna do. God, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty big. Um I'm gonna do this, then I'll rip out this path, do this bit. Um now, because of the way I've built this, I've got two power connections linking to all of the, uh, the pumps and whatever. So I can break one of these and, and, and it'll st everything will still work. So for example, um, we can do it, we could do it here, couldn't we? Yeah. If I, if I demolish this, like this, boom. Everything should still be working. Yeah, you can see that the pumps are still pumping. Hurrah! And there was much rejoicing. Right, we have this dynamited down. So we can now do... Uh, what do I want? Uh, water. Water pump. We can now do... Ah, yes. And that is correct. Um, because, okay, how, how do I explain this? <laughs> okay. Uh, I, need, I need this to explain it. So if, if that was there, that would be perfect, right? Because that, that extends down four, which goes down into the trough. So that's absolutely perfect. Couldn't want better. The problem is that this is going to be dumping water out uh, into... Well, it'd be dumping out into a, into this level, right? So if, if, I, if I just dug out a tile there, which would be this level, right? And it would dump water into there and it would keep it at that level. Well, that's, that's fine, isn't it, Skype? Well, no. No, it's not. I'd actually want it one further down than that. Uh, assuming that my irrigation canals are going to be at, uh, at this level. Huh. Which is just a tiny bit of it. See, I mean, I mean, it's not the biggest issue. Because I can just, wait, it's like, Sky, just drop it down one. Yeah, but then they, then they won't be at the same height. <laughs> so, like, do I, hmm. I could drop this one down, like, one, couldn't I? And then that would work. Okay, so let's do it then. Let's do it. So we're going we're gonna to drop them all down by one, which is going to be staggeringly annoying. 
Uh, do I do the top? So let's see. Uh, how would we want this? This needs to come down by one. Well, this is this whole level is going to come down by one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and then I want a trot, a canal going off here. Right. Let me get, let me get this whole thing like taken down a level. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this path out and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's get the process rolling. Come on, guys. One more. One more, and we can just do the whole lot in one go. Here we go. Last one going in. You know, from, in which end? I'm going to do it from this end. Boom. Well, another drought comes to an end. And how are we doing on water? Let's take a look. We are at... We've got about... One, two, three, four. Yeah, a little under four tiles. It's a fairly long drought. Uh, we've got a, another whole load of dynamite laid. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I've got to do the pass and stuff. But, well, yeah, we'll blow it up anyway. Yeah, blow it up. Good one. <laughs> I enjoyed that, did you? And we'll blow that up. Right. Rip out this path, lay in the dynamite there, do that. And then I can start, well, rebuild this, and then I can start on the other half. Awesome. How are we doing? over it now are we getting the water yeah yeah the water's water's pouring in that's what we like to see i've actually got them building um building this up on the other side of the canal at beaver castle uh over here we are laying in a huge amount of dynamite i've moved the district center up here for big ol so that we can reach this whole area we can actually reach right over to the the district here so that's really advantageous because it means that like when it comes to um structures and stuff that i want to get started with over here i don't have to like get them to build it themselves i can get these guys to build it which means that i only have to get the ship stuff shipped to here i don't have to ship it to here and then get it shipped over to the eventual target so it'll just be a bit quicker but this is going to take a while the drought is just about to start point one of a day look how full this is we are so close to overflowing i mean can you believe it that is awesome see this is another thing okay so i have been considering building the terror reservoir which will make the Giga Reservoir look like a freaking teacup. This thing, okay, because <laughs> I thought I, I spent probably, I don't know, uh, somewhere between an hour or two, like looking at this and, and thinking about it and, and figuring out how would I do it and what, what features would it have and stuff. We're talking about um, a massive uh, pyramid shape, which would be like huge and um, would have um, compartments. It would be comp compartmentalized so that uh, and it would be like 22 tiles deep maybe deeper than that um but certainly 22 tiles deep and yeah yeah it would, it's just an immense thing like am i gonna do it i don't know i kind of like to because i think it could be very cool uh it's not gonna be like an it's not gonna be an actual pyramid but it's it's gonna have uh, pyramidal tendencies let's put it that way oh good lord wow look at that look how full that freaking thing is i can't get over that it happened so quickly okay fine how are we doing over here good great oh my god they've done it all no they haven't i thought that i thought they'd finished they haven't quite finished let's blow that up while there's no bots around i want to blow the bots up that wouldn't be good. Uh, a little bit there. Oh, oh, I almost got him. Uh, we can do this section down here, can't we? Boom, 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 boom. All right, cool. And then we've got that whole section to do. They've, uh, they have started cutting down some of these trees as well, I think. Oh, we, we, are, we are making some progress. We are making some progress. 
once I've got this layer removed, then I can start thinking about where I'm going to put my terraformers and we can start terraforming in here. I think it's probably an idea to get like the majority of the terraforming done before I start like really building up the, the colony. I think it makes sense. So I was just figuring out how I was going to throw in power lines. And I think I've got to make the, instead of making this a two deep trough, it needs to be a three deep trough so that the, so that I can get the power lines up. Uh, but that's not a problem. I can just bring this out. So make this one longer, this one longer. So this comes out another two. That's fine. I can, I can dynamite this back a bit. I'll do that. How are we doing with the dynamite? With answer, we're doing great. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid killing him if I possibly can. Boom. Man, I tell you what. You would not want a job working... God, if I can, if I can get this camera... Like, just behave. There we go. You wouldn't want a job working in the dynamite fields, would you? Let's see if I can get like, an even better view. Good Lord. Yeah. These guys, they, they, they must be like um, Tweak from South Park. Just like, ah! <laughs> like just, just the thought that this dynamite could go off at any second. Ah! <laughs> uh, I think Bob, I think Bob was born in the dynamite fields. I think that's why he's such a fearless leader. <laughs> and why he's um, surprisingly good with the socket wrench. <laughs> Uh, normally I would I would edit this out, but I'm going to leave this in for the bridge fans because I know that I know there are bridge fans out there. They're like, for God's sake, build more bridges. All right, there you go. Six wide suspension bridge going over there. Does that make you happy? Hopefully, hopefully it will. Hopefully I'll get one or two comments from people saying oh, I really enjoyed your bridge. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we should be ready. I've actually moved this forward another one so that I didn't have to, uh, I didn't have to change the position of this one, this pump. Um, we should be okay to put the power in now. Let's have a look. So, the way this is going to work. Um, now, normally I would put one of these on, but I'm actually going to put a T intersection here, just in case I decide that I want to run power from this direction for some, for whatever reason. I don't think it will happen, but it could happen. Right, we'll throw a T-section intersection there, T-intersection there, and a T-intersection at the top. Now, do I, uh, I tell you what, at the top, I'm actually going to put a four-way intersection, because I actually think that I'll probably run the power in from this direction, in which case I, I would want the T-intersection that way. But um, I'm actually going to put a four-way in because even if I run the power in this way, who's to say I won't run some power off in that direction? It's possible. All right, what do I want then? It should just be high power shafts. So it should be boom, boom, yup. Boom, boom, yup. And finally, one, two, three. Easy peasy. All right, cool. So all I'd have to do is get that built. Um, because I've moved it forward, I'm dynamiting across here. So let's get this done. I am filling this in. Uh, so I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm just wondering what the range of these guys is. The full extent of their range. Uh, they might be able to do the front part of this, but I think the best the best thing to do is to put some. Put some bots in here. So I want to throw in a terraforming station. Flip you around. And I think maybe we just throw it in. Let me throw it one to the side. Yeah. Terraforming station going in. Now, what do we need for this? We need treated planks and metal blocks. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to get those shipped over. So, But once we get these guys, we should be able to get this built. Well, it's happening. I gotta say, it's not it's not lightning fast, but it is happening. I'm just watching the dirt arriving. <laughs> come on, bring some more dirt. Here they come. I th I think it's slow because the the dirt's arriving slowly, but it is happening. They are getting it built slowly. 
very slowly, but they are getting it built. Um, they need to be able to access this side, so I should throw in... Let's see. Let's just throw in that there. That'll help. Um, I will prioritise that. Yes, get that built. How are we doing out in the dynamite fields? The answer is they're doing good. Oh, well, they were doing good, and then they decided, nah, nah, I can't really be bothered tonight. Just going to go home. The wife's got my favourite tea on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? Let's go and have a look down here. Um, yes, last bit of dynamiting is ready. Dynamite that. We are done. Stick a fork in it, because that's done. Woohoo! Now, I'm, I'm guessing that by the water level, that I missed... <laughs> Did I miss the last... I must have missed the last cycle. And in the last, the last cycle, we must have been overflowing. We must have... I don't know. Did we? No, I don't, I don't know. The water level seems very, very high, considering that we're what? Uh, we're on day 20. There would have been eight days... Well, not necessarily... No. Let's say we had eight days of water. Uh, probably more like seven so 13 days in a tile so it might see it's, it's a little low it seems a little low but i don't know i lost track i've been so involved um just watching them do stuff and setting up new stuff and this is down at 1.4 that could do with topping up so this is the thing that i have to do every now and then and i, I really should just automate this and it's, a re it's really simple as well to automate it. So I don't know why I don't just do it, but apparently, apparently that's not going to happen just yet. Right, so that's topped up. How are we doing over here? Wow, look at this. We're really getting there. On the other side, yeah, they are getting there. Wow, that's pretty damn impressive, I have to say. So the uh, the Giga Reservoir is completely complete now, which is incredible. You know what? I like while the see this is the thing. I could turn these off right now and save myself a bit of power, but power recently just hasn't been an issue. Look at that gravity batteries. They're dropping right now because I'm assuming the wind has stopped. Yeah, the wind has stopped blowing. But as soon as the wind starts blowing again, the gravity batteries just go shoop, straight back to the top. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I like everything's so smooth. Everything's just so scary how smooth it is. Right. Let's see how we're getting on with the pumps and stuff. They've, uh, they've almost got this built. I've paused it because all they need is the metal blocks. Um, and we're done. And I'm pretty sure we've got metal blocks now. Yes, metal blocks. It's limited to 10. They can only bring in 10 at a time. Uh, so, like, do we just get this built? I don't know, maybe we just get it built. Yeah, get that one built. The other ones I've taken out because I, I, I want access. So let's get everything else built and then we'll put those in and get those built. Whew. Uh, they're building this out. or well, they've started building this out. That's probably about as far as they can get. I was just looking at this and saying, thinking, have they, have they built those? But they've done it from this corner, haven't they? Yeah, that's how they've done that. Now they can still get to these ones. Let's see if they actually do some this morning. Here they come. Uh, come and get some dirt. And are you going to go down there? No, they're not. They're going to go up the top. So there's still more that they can build from the top, apparently. Aha! Yeah, they're coming round to this corner and they're doing this. Okay, well that's fine. Don't have a problem with that. So they're doing that. They can do this. They can do this and this and this and this. So they can finish this row. Um, when they finish that, I'm probably gonna have to do something. Uh, I could put mm, a bridge is difficult. If I put another platform there, then I could put a bridge sticking out here to get this done. 
which is probably the way we're going to go. But I'm going to have to say, I hate doing this because I wanted to get this finished and I wanted to pump a little bit of water. Um, so and, and I wanted to plant up a bunch of trees so that we got logs uh, ready for the next episode when we start doing lots of building. But the simple fact is, I have run out of time for today. I have to, I have to stop. I don't want to. I don't like stopping, but that's just the way it is. I've run out of time. So, um, yeah, if you want a video today, I've got to stop. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you like this idea. B uh, Bob the Barrel Bot certainly does. Bob is waiting for his kingdom. He's waiting to... Um, but get his people to rise up and move over here and I, i'm massively encouraged that um i think this is going to be fabulous starting off with the irrigation and putting the irrigation canals in and uh the ideas i've got for power and oh I, it, it excites me i hope it excites you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you for the next one leave me a comment peace out <laughs>